Hey guys, welcome to Bill Colville's Network, and today brings us to today's adventure brings us to Lake Winnipesaukee in New Hampshire. And up here we have a there's numerous rail trails and a lot of mountain bike trails. So we're going to actually do a little bit of both. So uh, if you can, first trail up would be the Cotton Valley Trail, and it's about 12 miles long. Uh, it's a really beautiful trail. It goes right over the water. We're going to take a look at that and see what that one is like. And then uh, the episode two of it will be mountain biking. And there's the Fernald Mountain Trails. There's like 13 trails in that area. And they range from green to blue levels. So we're going to get on them. So let's saddle up and ride and enjoy. I like these, these street lamps are pretty cool. I can see why it's a, a well-rated trail. <laughs> right at the moment. Beautiful morning. Yep, yeah, great. Talking about five degrees. Yeah. Little, uh, stone, stone dust trail, I guess. A little damp. First rail crossing. Ride through the center. A little true off roading. I guess if you try to pull over, like if somebody's coming at you and you pull over a little bit, you could get caught up in the rear boat tide.
Looks like we're going on the rail. Morning. Thank you. Kind of a rocky trail that have a baby carriage on. Yeah. Oh, this is pretty. Yeah. Watch out for all the geese poop. Another crossing. Good morning. Oh, a little elevation for you. See what they mean about constantly crossing the rails. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Definitely a beautiful trail. Some inconveniences along the way, but so far it's 
worth it. Looks like we're gonna cross back on the rail. Looks like a busy crossing. Entering fair. Bailey Rail Trail Club. Probably down here. Yeah. I don't know. Definitely just crop. All right, we're here at the Cotton Valley Rail Trail. Just started the ride, gone about three miles or so from the start of the trailhead. So far, it's been very beautiful ride. Crossed the rail maybe, what, four or five times at this point? So oh, yeah. do need to be careful. It's been a few crossings, cars driving by, so again, just be careful, but beautiful trail. Love it. I think we're gonna give you something a little bit special today. Maybe doing a few mountain biking trails off the the rail itself so stay tuned yeah. you know what to do you saddle up and you ride all right good deal let's go what do you think of it so far I like it. it's pretty cool yeah yeah Oh, that's the pump track. Oh, it looks uh, smooth. I think we just. I want to go a little. I thought you said you were good for it. I'm not doing the black or blue giant. There's no black. There's no blue. This is where you dip in. All right, we just completed the Cotton Valley Rail Trail. It's about 12 miles and the surface is a hard pack trail. Uh, the scenery is beautiful and the trail basically goes right across the water. It's really nice. Uh, the only problem is it's, it's not for every type of bike out there. Uh, basically, you'd probably need at least two inch tires to be able to ride this. And it gets a little narrow in some spots because it actually rides between the rails. 
So it can be a little tricky because there's actually still railroad ties that are still on some parts of it and the rails are still there. So you have to really pay attention to what you're doing. But uh, let's rate this trail. I'm thinking it was beautiful and everything was great about it, but because of the few disadvantages with the, uh, you know, being really have to watch with the rails and with the ties on it, I'm gonna give it a four star rating. But it was fantastic. Recommend it.